All right, today we're going to change the rear brake pads on a 2007 RAV4 that has about 70,000 miles on it. Um, should be good and quick, but let me set the scene for you. Got quite a few things out here. The jack, got a jack stand. It's hiding behind that bench there that just makes it so I can lazily sit around. Some gloves. It's one of my cameras. Then that tube there is my torque wrench. There's some air hose. Uh, over there's a nice little heater because it's winter and uh, that thing makes my garage a lot more comfortable. And because I couldn't decide whether to get the little one of those or the big one, I bought them both. And uh, I'm glad I did because it really heats this garage up nice. Let's see here, that's my compressor. Light. There you go. What else do you want to know? Let's get to work. Alright, step one, we're going to break all these lug nuts while it's still on the ground. Jack it up. And just right underneath where the spring is. is my jack. And my jack needs some oil. Ooh. Little thing. We'll set a jack stand under there next. For safety. Speedy all in here. Alright, so let me show you what we're going to do next. We're going to remove this 14 millimeter bolt right here. Just the top one. Oops. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. I'm using the 14 millimeter wrench to hold the slide in place. I've got that guy out. Let's put him with the lug nut. Really, that's all we need to remove. I think should be able to pull this guy. Okay, so now we've got it loose and we're going to slide him off of the pads. And you can just leave it down like that. This is your master cylinder overflow. Um, I like to clean it up pretty well before I take the lid off. So take the lid off, keep an eye on it, and if it gets too high, siphon a little bit of it out with a turkey baster. So I've cleaned it up and taken the lid off. I've set the lid off to the side there. Make sure you put that lid back on before you're done. And what we're going to do is watch, and you can see this max line right here. We're going to try and make sure it doesn't get too much over that, and we're going to pull off anything that pops up in excess when we compress that caliper. We're ready to go ahead and slide out those old brake pads. That's these guys right here. Just come right out, no problem. You can see these are pretty thin, pretty well worn. Show you the difference between the old and the new. These were pretty well worn. We were close to metal on metal, although it never made the noise. Alright, so my brake kit of course came with four different pads. Um, it also came with the clips that will snap onto the edges of them that are that metal on metal noise that happens as a warning to let you know that your brake pads are getting dull. That's these things on the original pads. Let's see them on the edge. See that little thing? There's new ones of those. And then within the brakes themselves there are these metal clips. So we're going to pull those off and replace them with the replacement clips that were provided in this uh, brake pad kit. And I'll show you how to do that. Okay, step one to idiot proof this for you. Just take your old pad, set it on top so that you know what you're trying to create here. Um, and take this clip, slide it over the edge to basically copy what your old brakes look like. So just do that. Clip it on. It's that simple. And you can do it for the other side too because, well, it's the same thing on both sides. These are the clips that are designed to make that hideous sound. That That's my best impression. <laughs> now if you look at the replacement clip, you'll see that there's a little tab here that sits down inside of the brake. This is where the brakes uh, rest. But we want to pull that out, so 
Um, that's really the only thing that's holding it in place. So we'll take a screwdriver and slide it underneath there and pop it up. So let me show you. So remove the clip, take a flathead screwdriver, slide it in there, just pop it up. And don't worry about damaging it because you're about to put in a new one. There you go, clip gone. Let's do the top one, maybe I can get a better shot of it if I'm watching it instead of my work. Trust me, brakes can take this. There you go. Alright, if you're as anal as I am, you're going to want to clean this out, so I take a toothbrush and scrape it out a little bit. You don't really want to aerosol this stuff and breathe it in, so be careful. Okay, I'm putting the new clip in. Slide it into place like so. This is a two-hand job, but I'm trying to do it with one and failing miserably. Alright, a quick tip for you if you get confused about which pad goes where um, after you've taken them out. There's wear marks in the back of the original pads, so just keep an eye on that and then mirror you know, your new pads with the backs of the old pads. So, For example, this round thing corresponds with this round thing, your piston on your caliper. So we're going to line our stuff up with that and make sure we put it back in the right way so that these clips are on the bottom. Alright, so installing the inside pad. I just wanted to slide in there next to the clip. So that's all there is to that. Now we just need to compress the piston. Barely gonna twist it. I mean, you don't have to put a ton of force. It'll turn real nice and smooth. It's just what it does. Oops. But you want to push it basically all the way in, and while keeping an eye on your master cylinder. So go check your master cylinder after you get it a little bit in. Make sure it's not overflowing. We're going to compress it all the way. It's compressing now, you should be seeing some change over there. That's fully compressed. You can take off your C-clamp, drop that brake pad. It's garbage anyway. Watch that overflow while I compress the caliper. Absolutely compressed. Looks like it went up to just the max line, so we're going to have a little bit of room in there when we get to the other side. There isn't a lot of movement with the rear brakes, they're just they're small distance. Slide this guy back on. There you go. Shift the rod back in. Insert that 14 millimeter bolt. Alright, let's pop this wheel back on. I always put these on finger tight before I get the torque wrench out and start going crazy. And I don't use the impact wrench to put lug nuts back on. I'm using to take them off all day, but. And just kind of wiggle the wheel around and make sure that it's not loose. Two star. Hand tight. Alright. Get my jack stand out of there. My jack stand's out. And I'll put it back down on the earth.
can put the torque down and I've got mine set to 90 pounds. That might be a little tight, but never had a problem breaking them free. There you go. Reinstall the cap. Pressing on the brake pedal, so you push down on the brake pedal until it feels hard. 